the real deal. What's up guys, welcome to The Real Deal Airsoft. My name is Jake, one of your favorite YouTube airsoft technicians. And in this video, we're gonna talk about The Real Deal Airsoft lightweight CNC aluminum nozzle and its application. This nozzle solves a big problem that you may be experiencing today or may experience in the future. So by the end of this video, I'm sure you'll learn something and you'll be able to prevent problems in the future. Disclaimer for YouTube. Everything featured in this video is airsoft and gel blaster alike. There are no firearms or regulated goods in this video. We do not promote the sale or trade of regulated goods. Like I said, everything in this video is airsoft and gel blaster alike. There are fields worldwide where players enjoy clapping cheeks on the weekend. Let's get back to the video. The Real Deal Airsoft CNC nozzle is a single O-ring design, and we did that intentionally to solve a common problem that players are experiencing everywhere. So you may be experiencing this and if you're not, maybe you will experience it in the future if you're considering upgrading your AEG. And this problem more often than not occurs when you decide to take your rental kit status AEG and you try to upgrade it to a real deal certified cheat clapper status AEG. This is the problem that many players experience. On a freshly loaded mid cap magazine, the first 10 to 20 shots act terrible. There's no jewels behind it. The BB rolls out the barrel. And after those 10 to 20 shots, everything magically resumes its normal function and the AEG is laser beaming. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And you think to yourself, is it the magazines? Is it the tappet plate? Is it the tappet plate spring? You should be running the Real Deal Airsoft Super Tappet Plate Spring on a high cycle rate build. That's just a, a detail that you should know. Where can you get them? Link in the description below. More often than not, it's not your magazine and it's not your tappet plate. This issue will occur across the board regardless of the tappet plate and regardless of the magazine. The issue is, is that the majority of people upgrade their AEGs and they use a double O-ring nozzle, right? A double O-ring nozzle. Max Milo Products makes amazing nozzles. But on builds that cycle really fast, the double O-ring is actually causing more friction on a fast cycling build, like on a real deal cheek lapping build. There's a race of timing inside the gearbox and your nozzle needs to get back, pick up a BB and seat up against the bucking in a very fast time. And what I found is that the common denominator across observing all the builds that I've seen, builds from texts, um, people emailing me questions, me personally experiencing this notoriously with VFC based builds, after you upgrade them and you put, you know, a max 21.2 millimeter nozzle in there that's a double O-ring, magically, this problem starts happening. And the first 10 to 20 shots, the BBs just roll out the barrel and it's an issue. So after analyzing all these builds, collecting all the data, I wanted to observe and see, you know, what's the common denominator? What is something that all these builds have in common with this mid-cap syndrome issue? And the common denominator was that double O-ring design. So when you have a, a real deal cheek clapping build, your cycle rate is very fast. So there's a race inside the gearbox. Your nozzle is racing forward. It has to scoop up a BB, overcome the mid cap tension as well, and seat it properly against the bucking. And in high speed builds, what I found is that that double O-ring, that second O-ring creates another level of resistance and friction within the system. It's just causing drag. So when you test your system and you're, you're having this problem, right? You, the first 10 to 20 shots are just rolling out the, out the barrel and you're so confused. Switch it out for a single O-ring design. This nozzle is about one gram in weight, 0.9 grams, one gram. Let's just say it's a gram. I want to, under promise and over deliver. A polymer nozzle is usually 0.6 grams. So we're only 0.4 grams away from the weight of a polymer stock nozzle. Polymer nozzles are great. I have nothing bad against them, but some people, when they upgrade, they just want durability. They want to ensure that if they have uh, PME or if they have uh, something jamming, like the BB's jamming because there's an issue within the bucking or applying too much hop, that the nozzle is not going to break. That's understandable. That's why I created the Real Deal Airsoft CNC Lightweight Aluminum Nozzle. It has an amazing air seal. You don't need the double O-ring, trust me. I've used this in DSGs, I've used it in SSGs, I use this in, in everything across the board. You, it's very, its application is very wide use, you know what I'm saying? The length out the box is 21.4 millimeters. If you upgrade your hop chamber to, let's say, a retro arms hop chamber or a max hop chamber, 
you're going to need something around 21.1 millimeters, 21.2, sometimes 21. But remember, we're in the 21 millimeter range. It is so simple and easy to reduce this from 21.4 down to 21.1, that, that golden nozzle length zone when paired with a maple leaf hot bucking, that it's very easy to use this in almost every system. So the standard stock length in Airsoft is usually around 21.4, 21.5 millimeters on all stock rental kid builds. But once you upgrade the, like I said, retro or a max hop, the nozzle, the desired nozzle length for proper function is around 21.1. On average, you know, it depends on which type of plate. It depends on many different things. In fact, I have a video how to tune the nozzle. So make sure to check that out. And again, you'll learn something from there. So I just wanna take a second to show you guys how easy it is to make this go from 21.4 to 21.2. We're gonna be using one of the prototype nozzles that I had when I was doing some testing. So it's gonna be a different color, but it's the same nozzle. Also guys, when you grab your lightweight CNC aluminum nozzle, make sure to use lubrication. Make sure to lube it up. And if you guys are unsure about which grease you should be using in your airsoft system, I don't know if you know or not, but we make our own grease in-house. It's an in-house blend. It's available on the website, so make sure to check that out as well. Let's take a look at how easy it is to reduce the nozzle length from 21.4 to 21.2 millimeters. The real deal.